Welcome to another blog with Fit Panda, the most natural entity in the world, the person that will tell you exactly what you should do as a natural person. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do the perfect pool workout as a natural person, but before we get into that, I'm gonna show you the pre-workout meal that I consume right before hitting the gym. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoy being natural and if you're not doing pathetic enhancing drugs. All right, so half an hour right before my workouts, I usually go with a quick snack, this will be a perfect size meal for me, which is 70 calories per slice. I'm only looking for the carbs, 13 grams of carbs. I usually go for 30 grams of carbs right before my workout. So I'm gonna pair this slice of bread with a little bit of jam and uh, some pre-workout. And that will give me the energy that I need to hit the gym and go for my lift. I wanna take the time to thank all of you guys supporting me. I do already have a milestone that I Never thought it was gonna be possible. 200, 235 subscribers. I made you look, now you gotta subscribe. Thank you for that. I never thought it was gonna be possible. I've been trying to do this since Vine to be the best content creator that uh, there can be. Back then I was not into lifting and now I am. Look at this, ooh, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm acting as if I already have pre-workout. I haven't and I'm gonna take two scoops of this which will give me, what is that? I'm just gonna tell you the, the caffeine levels. 325, yeah, 350, if you count like the extra other stuff. So 350 grams of caffeine in a pre-workout. Why is this not working? Okay, yeah. and slice of bread with some jam. Jam, 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 blackberry jam. So this is enough energy to hit the gym for an hour and a half which I only do 45 to 60 minutes, but sometimes an hour and a half is necessary whenever I'm doing strength training. Strength training meaning going on heavy lifts, low rep ranges, you already know that. I don't have to tell you. I'm gonna be consuming this and then I'm gonna be hitting the gym. The, the amount of time that you need to digest this is it's pretty quick, you know, 30, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, not more, not more than that. Uh, it's pretty easy to digest since it's like very easily digestible carbs. So make sure to hit the like button. So yeah, it only takes you like uh, 40 minutes to process, 35 to 40 minutes to process simple carbs. All you need is 35 to 40 grams of carbohydrates before hitting the gym. Why? Because carbs are the main source that, uh, of energy that your body uses to exert energy. And I use pre-workout because I love getting high on caffeine. Yeah, you can do any type of pre-workout. I already ate my thing, my bread. Sorry, you didn't get to see it, but um, I didn't record that part and that's okay. It's, it's already here. So this is the aftermath of internet. See, see the veins? Anyways, make sure to stick around because I'm gonna show you a pool workout. It's a natural, probably said that in the intro, but thank you. 200 people subscribing to my content. I appreciate that uh, from the bottom of my heart. My goal in this channel is to make sure that you understand that to get this, you don't need the pathetic enhancing drugs, which is PEDs, right? That's the new name. It's not performance enhancing drugs, that's pathetic enhancing drugs. So make sure to spam in the chat PEDs if you are against pathetic enhancing drugs. Hey right, guys, so I am going to do a pool day, which that includes deadlifting. A lot of people put deadlifts as a Leg workout, I put her as a back workout. Holy shit. How do you guys keep that on? <laughs> Post edit. Deadlifting is something that I enjoy. My goal is to get to 500 at some point. Probably, if, you know what? I think I have to get all the way to 190 pounds. Right now I'm 179. If I'm 185 or 190 and I can hit 500 on a deadlift, conventional of course, you know, I don't cheat. I, I think I made it. That's my goal. And I think for 2024, it's possible that in the next 10 months, I can accomplish that feature. Because not that long ago, I hit 450. But uh, yeah, I hit 450 on my birthday and that was fun. So you want to make sure that when you're hitting cardio, you are hitting the parts that you're about to work on your weightlifting session. So in today's case, I'm doing deadlifts meaning that I need to get my legs working, but also my arms. Why? Well, I'll be doing this. And of course, you know, I don't wanna move my shoulder blades a lot, but 
your blood has to be circulating all throughout your body. Also, you know, it's a pool day, so back muscles are getting all warmed up. So let's do some warm ups. Three fifty five, easy. One. Just one. So I freaked out and then I thought to myself, you know what? No, I don't want to break my bag. There's so many more weeks in the year. I can get, I can get 425 or doubles for another week. Better stay healthy than getting yourself injured for ego lifting. So if your body says something, just listen to it. So a pool day can now be done with our pull-ups. If you cannot do regular pull-ups, just make sure to do sister ones. Or lap pull-downs. Keep it short and simple, you know, six to eight reps, two sets. And of course, you can do some muscle-ups. Why not? Don't be afraid to do sister muscle-ups because that will build the strength you need to do the normal ones. One, two, three, four, <laughs> four and a half. Whoopsie. I love the chest supporter rows because I feel the most. And uh, I don't know, I feel like I can lift the heavier. I'm doing this one. Since I'm not isolating necessarily, but I'm actually concentrating on the back portion when I'm doing the movement. See? Four. Seven. Squeeze at the top. So, just remember, you're training your back, so use as much help as needed. For example, I'm using my wristbands, because my wrist will give up first. Just think about it. It's a smaller muscle, your tendons will give up faster, but if this is here, you'll be able to get the extra rep that you need to get in the range of growing. Okay, so now we move to another lat isolation. Probably seeing this somewhere. We bring it down. Slow. Fast here, slow here. Okay. Okay. 
Do you know? Hey. Oh, Billy. Okay. Nice. Finish up. Some curls. I like to do cable ones so for the resistance factor when I'm in descent. One, two, three, four. Yeah. There it is. Damn. I hurt. Little hammer curl action. But the failure, of course, because this is the last movement of the day. You want to have at least one of your exercises to fail, usually at the end. Okay, there it is. And of course, I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm going to show you my post-workout meal, which is very essential. It doesn't matter how long you take in between meals, as long as if you're hitting your protein intake at the end of the day. However, a good amount of carbohydrate try after your workout will actually help your blood going to the right way, to the right certain areas that there should be, so you can get the gains that you're supposed to be getting. And remember, as a natural, it's harder for us to get this thing of muscle going in comparison to the uh, pathetic and enhancing people, right? This is some fettuccine alfredo. Fettuccine alfredo. Mm. I love it, so good. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the like button as hard as you can if you liked it. If you dislike this whole thing, like if you didn't like it, just do that too. You can dislike it. Like just interact, do something. Cause that helped me and you know, show people like that. And that will help you not to see this if you dislike it. You know, again, cause I'll, I'll keep posting, right? If you're one of those who are commenting in my post, I appreciate you. Thank you for that. That gives me a lot of fuel, a lot of energy to keep on going. Now, if I get to 20 likes, I'm going to make another vlog. And I'll leave you with this. Stay natural. Don't be pathetic.